No vídeo de hoje nós vamos conhecer o apartamento mais estreito de Nova York. So this is the narrowest apartment in all of New York City, measuring just 8 feet and 7 inches wide, currently on the market for $5 million. That is right, $5 million gets you the thinnest three-story townhouse in New York City with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, just under 1,000 square feet of living space and a very large oh, slice of New York City history. Let me explain. I mean, this house is so famous it has its own Wikipedia page. Even while we filmed this video, there were New York City walking tours of people checking out the spectacle. According to the New York City Landmarks Preservation Commission, the three-story Dutch gabled home was constructed in 1873 on what was the former carriage entryway for the adjacent property, hence its fractional address since the home was wedged into the driveway that stood between number 75 and 77 in order to maximize housing in the booming neighborhood at the time. Jumping to 90 1923, the house was leased by artists who used it for actors working at the nearby historic Cherry Lane Theater. Famous past residents include Pulitzer Prize winning poet Edna St. Vincent Millay, William Steig, the man who illustrated Shrek, and actors Cary Grant and John Barrymore. And it is this slice of New York City history that drives up that asking price of just under $5 million. Welcome to 75 and one half Bedford Avenue. Come on in. I'm gonna keep this door shut because there's actually a lot of people that come by here and want to look inside. So walking in, this is your living room. Now just for some perspective, I'm gonna lay across the floor. I am six foot four inches. So if I put my arms over my head, that's how tiny this is. This is just about eight foot seven inches. So a fully extended Eric can barely fit. Essa conta aí, oito pés e sete polegadas, dá dois metros e sessenta, mais ou menos. This apartment in the entire city. If you look above us, these are all the original beams in this structure. The current owner did a whole gut renovation, but kept the things that make this place historic. So Renovação, né? Uma dúvida comum é o pessoal perguntar assim, eu vou fazer uma reforma na minha casa. Como que eu falo re reforma? Renovation. Então, renovation é uma renovação, né? é assim que eles falam, e a gente chama de Reforma. Então, vai fazer uma reforma na casa? Renovation. Essa casa passou por uma reforma, por uma renovation. Beams in this structure. The current owner did a whole gut renovation, but kept the things that make this place historic. So you have the beams, you have all the. Ó, oh, e aí ele usou uma palavra que é gut, tá? Gut, gente, são as entranhas, tá? Então, isso aqui é o gut, que aí passou a reforma, uma renovação do, do intestino, né? Que também pode ser usado para gut. É, ou seja, o que ele quer dizer quando você tem uma gut renovation? A, uma gut renovation é uma reforma das entranhas da casa. Ou seja, uma reforma interna. Ah, o exterior ali da casa é praticamente a mesma coisa. Só preserva, pinta, faz uma restauração. Mas fora, mas na parte de dentro, melhor dizendo, teve uma gut renovation. Uma reforma interna na parte de dentro da casa. Isso que ele chama de gut renovation. Quer ver? These are all the original beams in this structure. The current owner did a whole gut renovation. Gut renovation. Ele fala bem rápido, né? Gut renovation. De novo. Barely fit in the narrowest apartment in the entire city. If you look above us, these are all the original beams in this structure. The current owner did a whole gut renovation, but kept the things that make this place historic. So you have the beams, you have all the modern lighting. Storage, if you come on in, this is where it gets kind of narrow. Here we have a mirror to just add a bit of depth to the space. Off to the left, this is the spiral staircase leading up to the other two floors. And now this is your kitchen. And it has all new appliances. So here you have the built-in Sub-Zero fridge, your Miele suite here, cappuccino maker in the narrowest apartment in the city. Tons of storage built in, leading back into the actual formal kitchen. Everything has been modernized except the faucets. They kept those as the original faucets, which is pretty cool. Four burner Miele cooktop. You even have this bench here with storage down below. And then if you pull back, this is the wall which divides the staircase so you don't fall downstairs. This is all additional storage space right into this wall that leads downstairs. Off of the kitchen, you have your wall which totally opens up to the backyard. And the property line ends right here at this wall, but there's actually an easement that allows this home and the three next door to use this backyard space, which is essentially like a, a secret garden in the city. Just get a look at this. How serene it is with all the ivy, nice benches. I want to point this out as well. This is your entrance off of Commerce Street right here. So this is the second entrance, like kind of like a escape or secret entrance if you want. Coming back on in through the double doors. Let's go downstairs. I want to show you this. This is not a staircase you want to go down at night. They actually just finished this basement. This is the lower level. 
Little tight on the ceiling height, but again, this is your additional fourth bedroom if you want all original beams, all brand new lights. And there's actually, check this out. There's actually a bathroom down here. So this is technically a fourth bedroom. A little bit of a vertical challenge there, but it works. Maybe a, maybe a kid's room. It could, yes, this is the kid's room. The kids would love this. So keep this shed and we'll head back upstairs to that first floor. Just to show how steep this is, this could easily be a ladder where you actually need to use your arms. But we're back up to the kitchen. Then off of the kitchen, we're gonna keep making our way back. This could be your dining room. You could put a little table here if you wanted, but we're gonna head up the spiral staircase to that second floor. So in a place like this, this is the most practical use of a staircase, the spiral, and this would be the bedroom floor. And I like how also there's no doors in here. It's all pocket. Doors pocket, pocket. to the wall. Oh. Po ele fala pocket, né? Pocket, ao pé da letra é bolso. Então é a, a porta bolso. Por quê? Porque ela entra na parede. É, ela é de correr, que nem a gente tem aqui, mas ela entra totalmente. Ó. Você vê como ele puxou? Ele puxou ela daqui. Então, esse tipo de porta, que é muito peculiar lá nos Estados Unidos, eles chamam de pocket door. Como se fosse uma porta de embutir, né? Ela é embutida inteira na parede e ela fica... Tá vendo aqui? Ó, você, nem, você nem acha que tem porta, né? Aqui no Brasil, a porta de correr, normalmente, ela fica um, um, um pedaço ali para você puxar, né? Tem um puxador, tem uma parte que você vê que tem uma porta ali. Às vezes, ela fica exposta, né? Do lado de dentro ou de fora. Essa não. Aqui, eles chamam de pocket door. Coloca ela para dentro da parede 100%. Só tem um pininho ali que você puxa... E, e consegue ali separar o ambiente. In here, it's all pocket. Oh. Doors pocket into the wall. I like how there's a lot of modern features in here. Of course, the back Sumiu. of the hallway. Welcome to your master bathroom. Front and center, you have your claw foot soaking tub with this antique faucet that comes right out of the floor. You have a <laughs> fireplace in your bathroom. This is a wood burning original fireplace here. Right off of the fireplace, you actually have a steam shower. I'm gonna walk in here just so you can get the perspective of the size. And for being the narrowest apartment, this is a pretty large shower. All those original beams overhead, and check this out. These actually open up. We're not gonna do it now because they are a bit finicky and they kind of stick. But this whole wall pockets open and leads out to your own private terrace overlooking your garden down below. In the summertime, just look at all the greenery. We are facing southwest, so you have sunlight the entire day. So just imagine, you have all these doors open up, you're lying butt naked in your clawfoot soaking tub in the narrowest apartment in the entire city. That's a flex right there. So I want to point this out. This entire house has been modernized, so you have built-in HVAC, all central air and heat. And then if we leave the actual bathroom, here's the water closet. So this is nice. It's separate from the actual bathroom, the soaking tub back into the main stairwell area. This is the first guest bedroom. Check this out. This is actually a built-in Murphy bed. Murphy so bed. Thinking to yourself, where would you actually... Isso aí eles chamam de Murphy bed. É o Murphy mesmo, como se fosse de Eddie Murphy, né? Sabe o Eddie Murphy? É, essas camas que ficam na parede e aí ela cai para fora e você puxa e ela vai pro chão e você deita, depois devolve ela para a parede. Put a bed in here. Murphy beds. I've right. actually lived Murphy in apartments bed. that have Murphy beds. They're the best thing in the city for utilizing space. So if you got your Murphy bed, again, this is fireplace number Muito two in this York apartment. Por causa da falta de espaço. Beautiful Greenwich Village. And actually, this is your closet. Where else you're off the window? Could you even call this a closet? Gee, that's more closet space than I have. I don't have a closet in my bedroom. You don't? No. Nope. Making use of space, vertical storage space. Comment down below if you would live here if you did have $5 million because I'm sold. I love small spaces. Right now I live in a pretty large apartment, but this is bringing me back to like New York. This is New York living and there's still one more floor. So let's head on up there. To the third and final floor. This is technically the owner's floor. And above us, this is a skylight which was put into this building in 1923, which has been fully automated. So with the push of a button, you actually have blinds which come down to block out the sun if you wanted it. But why would you ever want to block out the sun? So much natural light. You have doors which pocket to close off because you can't really have opening and closing doors in here just because there's not enough space. But on this side, this would be all the owner's suite. And Gabe and I were talking, where would you even put the bed? I'm going to lay back down again. So this would be your king size bed. So it would fill up the whole space. So the only real solution for this would be to have a Murphy bed right here, which would be a twin. Or if we switch sides, you put the bed right here and it would just kind of engulf the whole room. And block the fireplace. Yeah. 
and be super close to this. And then in here you have all this built-in shelving. This could be a home office. There's actually a little space here for a desk chair. It's a tiny little cubby for home office. I mean, just imagine sitting here and working away on your computer. And then across the hallway, basically it's mirrored on the other side. Again, you have the pocket door, so we'll keep this shut just to show you what it looks like. So this shuts all the way, and there's actually more hidden shelving behind this pocket door. As far as closet space goes, this is the largest closet in the whole apartment right here. Just two hanging racks with two shelves above and a storage space below. Nossa, é muito that pouco is armário, cara. Muito pouco closet. armário, gente. Que isso? Again, you have another fireplace. Cinco milhões de dólares. Space, é muito dinheiro, cara. To your terrace on that top level floor, Nova overlooking York. all the greenery, the sunset off there into the west, just a slice of New York City history. So comment down below, do you think you could live Muito in caro. this narrow apartment? Let me know Não. and I will see you in the next episode. Não moraria. Não moraria. Não tem condições. Muito caro. Muito caro e pouco espaço. E se esse conteúdo te ajudou, deixa o seu like e não se esqueça de se inscrever no canal. Se inscreva aqui embaixo, é de graça. Clica aqui, assim você não perde os próximos vídeos que vão sair no canal, certo? Vejo você no próximo. Um abraço.